Good things are a signature of Martha Stewart living. They're those simple, clever shortcuts and solutions that make everyday living just a little easier. Known as the most famous homemaker in America, Martha Stewart transformed entertainment in the home into a worldwide media empire. With a daily TV show, her own product line, and countless publications, Stewart became a billionaire when her company went public in 1999. Two years later, Stewart's star lost some of its shine when she was accused of insider trading. In New York today, Martha Stewart was indicted on criminal charges relating to an insider trading scandal that began more than a year ago. Well, if she's convicted of all these charges, she faces up to 30 years in prison and $2 million in fine. During the investigation, the following story emerged. Martha Stewart's close friend, Sam Waxel, was CEO of Mclone, a biotech company that produced anti-cancer drugs. When Waxel learned that the Food and Drug Administration was about to reject Mclone's cancer drug, Herbitux, he called his stockbroker, Peter Bakanovic. Bakanovic was on vacation, so Waxel spoke instead to his assistant, Doug Faniel, and instructed him to sell Waxel's Mclone stock. Faniel contacted Bakanovic and explained the situation. Bakanovic, who was also Martha Stewart's broker, told Faniel to call Stewart and tell her that Mclone's share price was likely to drop because Waxel was cashing out. Faniel did so, and Stewart sold all her Mclone shares one day before the announcement of the FDA's rejection. As expected, when the news became public, Mclone shares declined sharply. Had Stewart not sold, she would have lost almost $46,000. These losses were now distributed among the people who bought the shares that Stewart sold to a market ignorant of the FDA's upcoming decision. Were Martha Stewart's actions ethically wrong? You be the judge. <laughs>